From The Washington Times, I'm Harris Alec. The Biden administration has proposed rules to block illegal immigrants from jumping the border to file bogus asylum claims, embracing a Trump-style policy that President Biden once lambasted as a humanitarian disaster. Under the new rules, migrants who cross through other nations to reach the U.S. would be presumed ineligible for asylum. Instead, they would be encouraged to find legal pathways to enter the country. Democrats in Congress are, quote-unquote, deeply disappointed and are urging Mr. Biden to reverse his policy. It's a familiar pattern that has played out throughout the year-old Russia-Ukraine war. Ukraine asks Washington for a specific weapon, vehicle, or piece of military equipment to use against the invaders. A reluctant Biden administration initially says no, fearing the move could inflame tensions with Russia. Then, public pressure and behind-the-scenes cajoling persuade the White House to fulfill the request. The slow-motion theatrics are playing out right now with F-16 fighter jets and the U.S. Army's tactical missile system. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has said F-16s would be a game-changer for his country. But U.S. officials remain worried about escalating the bloody conflict. While Biden was in Kiev last week, the U.S. administration announced a fresh package of more than $450 million in military assistance for Ukraine. And finally, the Justice Department has announced indictments against eight pro-life activists stemming from a protest at a Michigan abortion clinic. This marks the latest crackdown in the Biden administration's post-Roe effort to charge pro-life activists. A February 15th grand jury indictment accuses eight individuals of violating the Freedom of Access to Clinic Entrances Act during an August 2020 protest. Last month, a federal jury cleared Catholic pro-life activist Mark Hawk of similar charges stemming from two confrontations in October of 2021. For these stories and all the news, visit us at WashingtonTimes.com.